When I was younger, I had plans and dreams of crossing the country by bicycle or maybe moving to a remote location and really living a outdoor lifestyle. But like with most of us, well, real life got in the way. I met the person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And rather than being decisions just about me, my decisions were now about us. But as my wife Kathy and I moved through life together, it didn't change for me any way that I still had this sense of adventure. And I still wanted to, to travel, to see things, and to do it by my favorite mode of transportation, and that is two-wheeled vehicle. There is just something about traveling on two wheels. And I've been hooked since I was about 10 years old when I got my first real bicycle. If you're not a bicyclist, you're not a motorcyclist, well, you might not understand this, this feeling that we, that we get when we're, when we're riding. And it's as close as you can come to flying, at least that's the way that I think of it. And over the years, be it motorcycle or bicycle, two wheels have always been part of my life. And today I am an avid and passionate motorcycle touring rider. Since I returned to motorcycling in 2006, I have been really involved with uh, said going out and, and doing some some touring. I started off with just weekend trips and then I worked my way up to you know week long and two week long trips and then eventually in 2011 I took my first really big cross-country trip where we rode from Boston, Massachusetts out to Prescott, Arizona and back. And that was just about 7,000 miles and it took me three weeks to do that trip. While traveling by motorcycle is about riding great roads and seeing beautiful scenery, it is also about the challenge. It's about challenging yourself against the road, against tiredness, against the weather, right? against the mileage that you have to put in every day. Right? And it is that challenge that gets a lot of us to go, to get out there on the road. Right? It is about mastering that machine and mastering yourself, to be quite honest. So in 2019, as I approached 60 years old, this motorcycle addiction that I have has led me to try to take the longest trip that I've ever done. Again, it's going to be 12,000 miles again, but this time it's going to be over a 60 day time period. The days are going to be a little bit shorter, but I'm gonna see more places and spend more time out there on the road than I ever have before. In many ways, this trip is a coming of age story for me. Not that I'm leaving adolescence and entering manhood, but that at 60 years old, I am entering the final few decades of my life. I mean, let's be honest, and I don't mean to be morbid here, but maybe I have 20, 30 more years to live if I'm lucky. So this, this trip is about celebrating that, right? It's about celebrating entering into those retirement years and the life that has come before. And it is about making sure I live these final few decades of my life to their fullest. My plan for this trip was to try to ride some of the great roads that we have here in the United States, as well as to see some of the national parks and other beautiful locations. And even though I was limiting my mileage to 200 to 300 miles per day, it was still an ambitious trip, so I was prepared to make some changes along the way. So originally I was going to take this trip by myself. And so I was going to take my Yamaha Super Tenere and had planned on doing some dirt roads, you know, here and there along the way. However, my wife started getting more interested in coming along as the trip progressed. 
So I ended up changing my plans and I'm going to be taking my victory vision on this big trip. As most of you know who follow my YouTube channel, Kathy was involved in a pretty serious motorcycle accident back in 2017. And even to this day, she is still healing from that process. So when she decided to come along with me, I was a little bit concerned, to be honest with you. I didn't tell her this, but I was. I did not know if the rigors of traveling every day on a motorcycle, of getting on and off the bike, of wearing the protective gear, um, you know, day after day, was going to get to her. But she said she was up for it, so she decided that she was going to join me out in California for a 16-day period. So after Kathy decided to join me for this extended period of time, and it meant that I had to take my victory vision, I also had to reevaluate some of my lodging plans because I was going to do a lot more camping once I got out to California and headed up the uh, California coast and into Oregon and Idaho. I wanted to originally camp especially in the Redwoods up in Northern California where my family and I had done that many years ago. But again, Kathy just wasn't in the condition where she could sleep on the ground like that you know, night after night. So we decided to do much more hoteling, which of course meant the cost of the trip was going to go up as well. But again, it was worth it to have Kathy join me. During my Alaska trip back in 2017, I was riding with two good friends, Peter and Stephen. So even though I was contacted by a lot of people who wanted to join in with the ride or meet us along the way, I was a little hesitant because I didn't want the trip to turn into a living off the slab road show. I wanted it to be about the three of us. However, along the road to Alaska, I did have the opportunity to meet several of you guys, my viewers out there from the Living Off the Slab channel. And it turned out to be one of the best parts of the trip. It was really great getting to meet everybody. So for this 60 day trip, I decided to open myself up and see if I could meet as many people as possible along the way. And like the trip to Alaska, it turned out to be one of the best parts of the trip. And this time I decided to do something even different. I decided that I was going to turn the camera on you guys. Right? And I was going to see if I could tell some of your stories. Right? So along the course of this video series, you're going to hear from some of those folks that I got to meet. And speaking of great people, when I was ready to set out uh, on this big adventure, I found a driveway full of my great friends from the Massachusetts Bay Victory Riders who escorted me out of town, so to speak. And it filled my heart with joy uh, to have them come along on this first leg of this trip. So it was the perfect way to start. <music> 